Hey everyone, this is Christine with Left Side Art. Today I want to tell you about a workshop that I went to with Dina Wakely and Diane Reevely. This is the one that's called Back to Back and it is located in South Florida. I will have links below to where you can get more information on the one coming up um, in 2019. This is a three-day all-inclusive retreat with about 60 other women and it was absolutely fantastic. The reason why I wanted to put this video together is because when I was first searching more information about the back-to-back, -back, I had a hard time finding um, blog posts or videos and whatnot to gain more information and a little bit of insight on what actually goes on at these workshops and if it would be worth it for me. I'm happy to report back that it's definitely 100% worth it. My mother went with me and we had a load of fun. So much so that we've already put our deposit down for next year's back to back. So the retreat was a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, three full days where Dina and Diane split their time up showing us techniques and they had both developed a project that was specific to this retreat. They were a lot of fun to work with and so were a lot of the women that we sat with um, at these long tables. All the supplies were included and I can't say enough how much fun this was. Um, and we learned a lot. I wasn't 100% sure how much I would get out of it because I had already watched so much of their videos online. I have um, books by each of them that I had already dived into, but I figured, you know, this is something I really enjoy, so why not go to the retreat and see what it's all about? And I ended up learning so much more than I had previously. And since the retreat, I have been using my journals a lot more and feeling confident in using their techniques. And I've incorporated their techniques into how I do work because, you know, one thing they'll even say is that Dina already knows how to do Dina. Diane already knows how to do Diane. We don't need to do them. You know, work this into your own style, how you want to do art. And it has really opened up um, a lot more for me than I had thought possible. And I'm journaling a lot more, uh, even especially in um, Diane's um, journals where, you know, I wasn't usually the type of person that would sit down and write things out or, you know, keep diaries and things like that. Um, but she's made it a lot more fun so that you can incorporate um, art into uh, daily journal style, I guess is the best way I could put it. And then with Dina's um, techniques, what I was really looking for is trying to develop, definitely develop a lot more artistically, but also be more comfortable with the much feared white space, which I have definitely been diving into more of trying to, you know, not feel like I have to cover every inch of a background. It's still something I'm working on. I don't know if I'll ever be 100% comfortable with it. I don't know how long I'll keep it up for, but I definitely wanted to try it out. And why not? You know, continuing to grow as an artist is something that I think we, we all aspire to do. Anyway, the retreat was hosted by Michelle McCosh. From everything mixed media I'll have links to her shop in the description below her actual shop is located about a half hour away from the Duncan Center which made it convenient um, there was one night she had um, like a certain percentage off supplies at her store and a lot of women carpooled over uh, to go check that out and within the room she also had racks and tables of supplies from Dina and Diane's lines that you could purchase product right there, which made things very convenient, very helpful. I may have overindulged in that just a little bit, but it was all in the spirit of, you know, the, the retreat and having fun and, you know, diving into this. And it was definitely something that I would suggest to others and already have. So this is one of the projects that we worked on. This one was with Dina Wakely, where we created our own spine out of one of the pieces of substrate that she has in her journal. It was the white cottony type of material. I forget exactly what it's called. But what we did at the beginning of the retreat 
was take one of Dina and Diane's large journals and rip them apart. It was slightly terrifying to tell you the truth, but we split up all their materials within the journals um, with two or three people, depending on which journal we were splitting up. And then we created many projects out of it. It ended up being a really neat idea. And it was, again, specific to this retreat, the projects that Dina and Diane developed. So this is my smaller journal I have at home um, by Dina Wakely. And you can see it has um, different materials in here. It has cardstock, canvas, comes in four signatures, and that white cottony material is in there. I love this journal. I think it's really cool how the different um, materials in here allow you to you know, test out different techniques and paint works differently on each of them. The large journal is just like this, just bigger. So what I did when I got home, um, since we split up Dina's large journal and made smaller projects out of it, I took some extra material that I had and um, I actually kind of took apart the stitching that we did, which was located for that spine. And I made my own small journal, which ended up being just about the same size as her smaller journals. And all I used was some chipboard. I had a roll canvas that I covered the chipboard and made my own spine. It was really simple. I had to glue it back together a few times. You know, it wasn't possibly the best job ever, but I actually am working out of this journal right now. And I'm using this to follow along with one of Dina's books where she gives you page challenges. And it's, it's been a lot of fun to work in. The pages with color on them are from the four signatures we had created at the back to back with four separate prompts. I feel, I am, I see, and I want. And on these pages, this is where Dina was teaching us some of her techniques on how to lay down gesso and add um, paint and some collage um, and also her technique of um, journaling. I forget exactly what she calls it, but it's writing in a way that you can't really understand it when you go to read it, but you know, you're at least getting it out on paper. And what I did when I created my book here is that I just added in these other pieces of material that I had and created a larger book out of it. We also worked on tags, which you see tucked in here and there. Um, I have some things clipped together with her binder clips as well that I purchased when I was at the retreat. All the stencils and paint and tools, everything was included. Uh, we also created these flowers. These were abstract flowers. We practiced on um, a larger piece of the white cotton paper and you know used Dina's techniques in order to do so. This little bit of collage work where we were layering um, items on top of each other and journaling around it. Um, we also were provided printouts of Dina and Diane's images to use during this workshop and that was a lot of fun as well. So we got you know quite a few extra bonuses as, as well um, to use during a workshop and to take home. We also learned from Dina how to do the um, threading to connect the signatures together. Um, it's very simple. You, you basically poke three holes and run thread through it in a certain way and it really keeps your signatures together. I believe she has videos on that um, as well. But yeah, I was pretty proud of this little journal I made and it's um, working out pretty well. I have yet to decorate the outside, but since it is canvas I use on the outside, I am um, have not yet figured out what I want to do with that. This is a name tag that was provided to us when we registered and it's handmade. It has our names on it and there's little business cards stuck inside. I thought this was a really cute idea. It also helped with um, having name tags so that you could meet people a little bit easier and not always have to struggle to remember everybody's names. And with Dina, we create these little pockets um, with tags inside of them and she was showing us basically how you can use scraps to create these little um, inserts with the tags and it was a really cute idea. I have some score tape on the back which I have yet to put inside my journal. 
Now on to the project that we worked on with Diane Reevely. These pages were cut out from her large journal and we were taught some of her techniques on how to lay down ink with stencils and using a paper towel roll and also how to layer your stencils using the colors in your background um, and then how to create these painted pages um, off to the right by using um, different stenciling techniques. So we did quite a few of those and then um, we created a little mini book out of them. The pages uh, that I have loose here are just leftovers which I could create another book. So this is the little book that we made and then um, worked in while we were at the uh, retreat. I'm taking this out of my journal that I also um, purchased while we were there. This is a really nice cover and you can put tons of little books inside. I put in one of my other books I was already using but the journal books that she provides for these covers fit perfectly. So this is a little book and we folded the pages and then used a uh, sticky canvas for the spine and you can see I've continue to decorate inside of my journals. I've done quite a bit since creating this video um, as well. And they're just fun to doodle in and, and just create little masterpieces inside. This little kitty cat with the wobbly head was something that we did um, while in class. This is also um, something we did in class was create these little flip tags with a piece of Diane's art that was pre-printed on sticky back canvas. She showed us how to create borders with washi tape, how to doodle around them, and added a piece of her art that she provided as well. This is another flip tag that I continue to decorate um, after the retreat. But you can see it's like a trifold, um, also with a piece of her art on it. This was the fun one that we really concentrated a lot on in class, using different pieces of collage that Diane had provided, and she showed us how to use the stenciling going around uh, the page with her journal block. A little pocket with a tag pulling out of it behind her artwork and uh, with more, um, this wasn't washi tape for the border, but it was like little pieces of collage that we cut out and glued down. Stenciling, or excuse me, stamping uh, with her stamps. And then this was the other fun one that we created in class. You can make anything you wanted here and I just um, took different collage pieces that we were provided and put something together and then decorated the back. But this was a lot of fun. All the supplies for Diane were provided as well. And, you know, getting to use her washi tapes and everything else, it was just a load of fun. I've continued to decorate my little book here, added some little tassels on the side. But these are some of the inserts that you can get. Um, there's like eight or nine different options. And Diane has um, plenty of videos on Ranger's site and on YouTube. Um, describing these in detail but I got the pocket inserts and um, a lot of these little books with lines or without lines and added some of my own clips and this is one I started creating to <laughs> to track all the books that I have or don't have in my little personal library um, but you can basically put anything in here that you want um, and I added some additional um, bands to hold um, my little books in here but this this has become very useful I created one with uh, things that I write in and this one I slowly was trying to put every bit of supplies that I would use so sticker books the journal block um, little pieces of embellishment I have since redone this little um, supply book that I have here on the right uh, since posting this video, and I've made it a lot neater and a lot more accessible to the little pieces of embellishment that we were able to take home with us from the retreat and have added um, some of my own stuff in there as well. This makes it very convenient, so I have one um, journal package with books that I write in and one where I can grab some supplies. 
I keep wanting to call these Midori's. I don't know if Diane actually refers to them as Midori's, but they definitely remind me of the Midori style journals. And this is uh, pieces of washi tape. Uh, either I bought from Diane's line or I think I have some Jean Davenport in here. This sticker package um, with little post-its is Diane's. Just some really neat stuff that are easy to pull from. And oh, these I love. They're a um, piece of Diane's work on sticky back canvas. So you peel the back off and it's literally like a really big sticker. But these have a lot of texture because they're printed on canvas. I have since bought another package of hers. I think those were the free ones from the retreat. We also got a book of stickers. Um, from her line, this creative diary, and I think this is the first version of these. I have since um, ordered the second version, which has a lot more of her artwork inside, and I love both books. They're just very easy to access, um, and then these are little, you know, Tim Holtz chats and stuff like that, but they're all fun to use all together, and then additional pieces of um, things that we we're able to take with us. I think these come out of her coloring book um, pages and such, but they're fun to cut up and use throughout your journal. And I had some 365 stickers, just anything you want to use in your journal, um, I say is fair game. And then I um, had also since gotten one of these journal blocks. They're really nice. I thought, oh, what am I ever going to use this for? But after using it in class, is definitely something that I use as a quick go-to either just for the straight edge or it has like all these little dashed holes inside of it that just makes things a lot easier and of course the infamous uh, um, wavy line that uh, at first I thought oh, I'll never use this but I've used it quite a bit probably a lot more than uh, I realize I have to go through all my journals now and count how many times I've used this Anyway, that's about it. I just wanted to post this video so that people knew a little bit more about what goes on at the retreats and hopefully I have inspired you to at least look into it. The 2019 registration, I believe, is open. I'll have a link below to Michelle's website where you can get more information. I hope this has been helpful and I'll catch you next time. Thanks.